Are you keeping a close eye on interest rates because you think if they go high enough, home prices might just crash? If that's you, stick around and pay attention to the end of this video because I'm going to walk through exactly why I think that that is not the case. Hey there, Nick Deckard here with another video specifically talking about home prices and mortgage rates nationwide, but also in how they will affect Ocean City, New Jersey. If this is your first time here, welcome. Make sure you hit subscribe down below if you want to be among the first to know about all the changes in the Ocean City market. I come out with videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about real estate here in Ocean City. That ranges from videos like this, uh, property tours, and a million other things. So let's dive right into why this is a very complex thing to analyze and the different factors that do play a role in what's going to happen with housing prices. So the primary driver is supply and demand, super simple economics. And that in and of itself is not necessarily going to be attached to what happens with mortgage rates. A lot of people have the assumption that when interest rates go up and mortgage rates go up, home prices start to come down. But in fact, it's a little bit different. So in super simple terms, if you're a home buyer and you're going to be financing your purchase here, your buying power is going to decrease as those mortgage rates go up, right? Very simple math. Now, where this gets a little interesting is the amount of cash buyers in a particular market are a huge piece of what happens to those home prices. If there are no cash buyers, if people are not cash flush, then it's going to be much more directly related. But in a market like Ocean City, and what we've seen and what I've seen personally, just in the last two months, the amount of cash deals are substantially higher than what you would expect, not just here, but also especially nationwide. So what you would expect when that demand cools down is that we would start to achieve a more balanced market, right? If there was an excess or a normal amount of supply, yes, you would be correct. We would then enter into a buyer's market. Home prices would then start to maybe trickle down a bit, might be slow, might be quicker, all depends on the scenario. But where we are now, inventory is still super low. We are sub 200 properties on the entire island. So with a low supply, even if demand does come down, there's so much demand out there right now that I don't imagine that it could possibly flip the script and start giving buyers a little bit more leverage. I think, and I believe very strongly that the worst case scenario over the rest of 2022 would be that home prices level out. I'm still sticking with my original prediction, which you can see here above, that by year end, home sale prices on average will have increased 10% from where we were in 2021. Now you may be thinking, and I've talked to buyers over the last year and a half who have been waiting for this wave of foreclosures to come. If you pay attention to the national media, that was coming. And in some markets, it did. But in Ocean City, we're not your typical market. Again, we have buyers coming in with a substantial amount of equity. They're not leveraging FHA 3.5% down loans. And even worse, what we saw back in 2006, 7, 8, and 9 were people using these adjustable rate mortgages. And I'm not going to dive down the rabbit hole of what that means, but they are risky. You're going to get slammed with higher monthly payments that are going to continue to increase as those interest rates go up. So that was a huge factor in the crash back then that we simply don't have that same risk up now. So in conclusion, I believe that home prices will likely level out at some point towards the end of this year, but it is highly unlikely that we're going to see a crash. And I know we haven't defined crash. I'm talking about crash as a reduction in sale price. So that's it for this one. Now, I appreciate you sticking around with me to the end. I would appreciate you sharing your thoughts down below in the comments. This is a very hot topic, and I'm always looking to gather insight and different perspectives on what people think is going to happen with our market here over the rest of 2022. If you have any questions, you can plop them down in the comments below, or feel free to reach out directly. My contact info is in the description. So again, I appreciate you hanging out with me today, and I will see you on the next video.